This is how I configure Add to Cart event on a Shopify store using the new Customer Pixel events. First thing we have to do is copy the code for the Customer Pixel section. Go to the settings on your Shopify backend and then scroll down to the Customer Events. Once you are on the Customer Events section, on the top right corner, you will see an option for Add Custom Pixels. Click on Add Custom Pixels and create a new pixel. You can name it anything. I am going to name it Data Layer and then click on Add Pixel. This step is really important, so make sure that the permissions are set to Not Required and Data Sales is set to does not qualify as data sales. The first thing that we have configured for the permission, it just removes the control from the Shopify and give us more control on the consent settings. Since these videos are not about consent setting, we are not going to go much deeper into that. Also, the data sale requires does not follow our conditions, so we are going to cancel that out. From the description of this video, you will find a link where you can get the code snippets and paste the code snippet right here. Once you will paste the code snippet, this will look something like this. And the only thing we have to update is the Google Tag Manager container ID. To get the Google Tag Manager container ID, you can go directly to your tagmanager.google.com. And once you are on your container, this is the container ID that we are looking for. To get the container ID, you can just click on it and then copy the ID right here. So let's copy this ID, go back to the Shopify store and paste it right here. Perfect. Now we have added the code and let's hit save changes. Once the changes has been saved, you need to connect your customer pixel with your website. So let's hit connect. And now the pixel has been successfully added on the platform. Let's just quickly see if the data layer and the Google Tag Manager container are actually working on the website or not. So let's click on view store and this will take us to the website. On our website, let's just go directly to any of the product pages because we just want to see if the add to cart event is working or not. On any of the product pages, just click on add to cart. And now to show you if everything is working all right, I'm just going to go directly into the console section. And on the console, we can see that the add to cart event has fired. And this is the e-commerce object that has all the information such as currency, items array, and all the things that we need for the event to occur. Great. Now the next step is to make sure that the Google Analytics event for the add to cart event is firing. But before that, we need to create a configuration tag for the Google Analytics. So let's go directly to the Google Tag Manager container to create a our first Google Analytics configuration tag. So let's click on new. And since the configuration tag is going to fire on all the pages of the website, let's select all pages as the trigger. For the tag, let's select Google tag and we need the measurement ID of the Google Analytics. So let's go to our Google Analytics tag and search for the measurement ID. This is the measurement ID. Let's copy the ID and go back to the Google Tag Manager container and create a constant variable because constant variable makes our life a little bit easier than before. So let's create this and rename it as GA4 measurement id and let's hit save great now let's rename this tag to ga4 configuration tag because this is a configuration tag and now this will send a page view event hit all the way back to the google analytics now we can create a new event for the google analytics add to cart event so let's go to the triggers and let's create a new custom events for add to cart let's rename this trigger to custom event add to cart and now we can create a google analytics event tag Let's select GA4 event. Since we have already created a constant measurement ID, let's select that. And the name of the event that we send back to the Google Analytics is going to be add to cart. The only thing we have to select is send e-commerce data. And let's rename this to GA4 custom event add to cart. Doing these four steps should successfully add the Google Analytics event directly to the Google Tag Manager. However, in this new customer pixel section, we don't have any way to verify this unless we publish the changes. So let's publish the changes. Let's rename this step to Tracking Academy, GA4 Add to Cart. And let's hit Publish. Now, since the changes has been published successfully on the website, we can go back to the Shopify store and refresh this page to see if the changes that we have made are successfully added to the platform or not. To verify if the hit was successful or not, there are multiple ways to do that. The first option is using plugins such as this one, which is called Adverse Data Layer. This will show you all the event hits that are going back to the Google Analytics. So you can see that the one of the hit that has been created is the page view event. And once we will click on Add to Cart, there should be a new event, which is going to be Add to Cart. So we can see that the Data Layer event has been fired. And once the Data Layer event has fired, the GA4 custom event also fires. We can also verify that it is sending the, all the product information and then it also has the currency parameter which is right here under CU and then it should also have the value parameter somewhere right here. Great, so we have successfully created the GA4 add to cart event using the new customer pixel event. If you want to see how to do the view item event, you can watch this video.